Hello everyone and welcome back to the Disgaea 2 PC LP and this episode I'm going to try and make a bit more progress. I haven't grinded or anything but uh, I feel like we're already a few episodes into a demo mode and haven't really gone anywhere due to the summoning experiments so uh, I'm not sure which ones of these I'll do because I, I know this one's Almaz, I know this one's Sapphire but I'm not going to worry about these for right now. I know one's Planair, um, and I know Planair doesn't fight you, or she does, maybe? I forget. Hey, what's up, Tank? You're in that one cutscene. What do I do? What do I do? Overlord Zenon's palace has been destroyed! I was only able to survive by using my feigned dead super move, but now Overlord Zenon is going to kill me! <laughs> Is it really you? Oui! It has been a long time, no? <laughs> Come here and give me a hug! Oh, what manner of a scoundrel are you? Why, it is I, your beloved Dink, as honest as an angel, as handsome as the devil, eh? Your very own lovable Dink! Tink? My childhood friend, Tink? You cannot fool me. Tink is not some dirty-looking frog like you. Ah, but they have changed me. They have sieged this place. It was so... How do you say? As scary? It was so sudden. Our best soldiers went down after one hit and with only one arm. Does he ever shut up? So, is he your childhood friend or not? What is this? How could this be? How dare you speak to the princess in such a familiar manner? You are a man of great insult! For only I am allowed to speak with the princess on friendly terms, huh? Do not steal my privilege! Hmm. That accent and jealous temper. It seems you are Tink. The bad one, at least. Which can only mean, look around. This is my father's palace. Do you see? My father and I are bound by strong family ties. Okay, I believe you. Now, can you explain everything to him? It'd be a shame if I had to hurt him. I suppose you're right. Tink, listen to me. Well, uh, let's simply say stuff happened. Oh, ho, ho, that is good to hear. Wait a minute. What kind of stuff are you talking about? Nothing perverse, I hope. Uh, is he feeling all right? I suppose this is normal for him. The only way to silence him... Hey, you! Stop being so friendly with the princess! You think you can push me aside and have her all to yourself, huh? Not on my watch, Monsieur Napoleon Bonerhard! <laughs> That's great. And I'm back. Okay. Had to take a phone call. Uh, enemy boost. Warp. Okay. Warp 23. Uh, there. Yep. That simple. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> you do? Tink here has two personalities. I have to cast that spell to seal his bad personality, or else it will run wild. Okay. Great. He's just what we need. Another pain in the ass. Don't call him that. Though he may be quite bothersome, he is still my best friend. What? Are you serious? Your best friend? Everything will be fine. Just cast the spell whenever his bad personality shows up. Oh, Rosalind has forced Tink into your group. Bon 
Bonjour. My name is Tink. It is a pleasure to meet you. Great. Just what we need. Another freak. <laughs> now it is two against one. Your death is even closer now. Okay. So, come over here. And uh, uh, arrange manually. Whip, tank, uh, wolf swing. Um, don't really have any OP monster weapons, so let's go over here. Uh, ooh, I only have one million. Okay, hundred. This should be good enough. Yeah. At least for now. And then I can buy some shoes for him as well. Or unless I already have enough shoes. Although he already does have move seven. Uh, oh well, he has move seven, that's good enough. Uh, let's go to the next map. Hey, Axel. This isn't an ultra classy five star resort like I'm used to, but it sure beats sleeping outside again. <laughs> Battling that wild tribesman? That tribesman just got lucky. If I wasn't distracted by the crew, my super fly death rush. Oh, oh, oh my god! Hexel, darling, I just heard a rumor that we were killed by mountain men! Everyone thinks we're dead! will live forever when everyone hears that I'm still alive I'll make my triumphant return aha so that is how Adele summons the princess Adele my friend you are very brave to want to face overlord Zenon Princess, princess, this human is a top-level buffoon. Is it wise to stay so close to him? He is a rather dangerous fool. We should keep our eyes on him. I shall never allow him to confront my father. Never. Ah, très magnifique, princess. You really are evil. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so we see that uh, Axel now knows that he is quote unquote dead and that he really isn't. Um, okay. If I remember correctly, yeah, that just uh, makes him stronger. But I will put him up there doing that. Uh, gig. That'll look cool. Um, I'll go. Oh, what am I? Do that. Um, do that. And 
I should really give him another shoe. Because he uses fists, so he isn't very, uh... doesn't have a lot of range. Just ganging up on Gig. I still haven't uh, been able to um, uh, get the uh, thing to work all the time, like the, mo the aim the skill during uh, movement or whatever, uh, which kind of sucks um, because because it's just like that. That's so nice that they added it in. But it might only work if I'm using an Xbox controller. I'm not absolutely sure. Overlord Xenon, your orders have been carried out. Hmm. Did you discover the whereabouts of the princess? No. She is still nowhere to be found. If anything should happen to her, even a little scratch, the two of you will suffer tenfold. Yes, Master. We are well aware. I don't care how you do it. Find the princess and isolate her from the outside world immediately. As you wish, my master. Yes, and that is Overlord Zenon being a right douche. Yeah, my god, Rosalind has so little health compared to Adele. Yeah. It doesn't really matter all that much. Would like to give them more move, but it doesn't. It won't affect them all that much in the long run. Um, ah, yes. So basically, to uh, unlock it, you still have to defeat her. Which, uh, you know, I can show you how I did it. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. And this just takes you to. Uh, the map. And actually, I think I could probably show you. Um, main character. Ooh, wait, it might not be. Actually, I won't. Because I would say, oh, I'll just use the dude that can use poison. But if they're not susceptible to poison, then. Uh, then I'll lose. Uh, Rosalind's childhood friend, cursed to become a frog. His mobility is always increased by two. So he, already, he always has two more than he normally would have. I don't understand why they had to put that. Like, just have that be a secret thing. Like, because I wouldn't know that his mobility was five. Um. So. Whatever. Uh, Zanon's palace. Sealed room. Ah, it's the wild tribesmen from yesterday! What the hell makes you think I'm a tribesman? D don't don't come any closer. Don't invade my personal space. What, 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 what are you waiting for, Axel? Uh, uh, aren't you the dark hero? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm the dark hero. Feared by men, loved by women, but I always use a stunt double. Oh, I get it. 
You're just a stupid celebrity. I'm not just a celebrity. I'm the dark hero. The amazingly talented dark hero. If you want to throw down with me, prepare for the consequences. You'll have screaming teenage girls calling you all day long. Oh, hell no! <laughs> you stupid B-movie celebrity. You desecrate my father's palace with your insolent behavior. I will not forgive you. Huh? Desecrate your father's palace? What are you talking about, lady? Do not feign ignorance. My name is Rosalyn. I am Overlord Zenon's only daughter. Do you not see this emblem of the four-leaf clover? Oh, 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 Overlord Zenon's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> not so exuberant anymore? If you wish to beg for mercy, now would be a good time. <laughs> yes! This! This! This is it, Director! What do you mean, Axel, darling? Picture this. A beautiful demon. None other than Overlord Zenon's only daughter, Rosalind, imprisoned in a deserted palace. And the only man who could rescue her from the villains and pester Zenon for a hefty reward is the dark hero, Axel. Isn't that a great setup? It's perfect for launching my comeback. This kind of story has to make the universal news, and then everyone will know that I'm still alive. But, but Axel, darling, <laughs> didn't you say you needed a stunt double? Moron, I'm the dark hero. Now shut up and get ready to see the greatest action scene ever. Oi, oh, Axel, darling. Mm, you're so... Uh-huh. This is too bad. Demon buffoons like him will give us all a bad name. Sometimes I wish that your other personality could hear you speak. Damn. While we're wasting time like this, Xenon's curse could be getting stronger. I just hope my family doesn't turn into real monsters while I'm stuck fighting jerk towns like this guy. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Who rose? Th Wait, try. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I can do rose thorns. Show that off. Oh, okay, so there's some guys over there as well. Um. Uh, sonic roll. Uh, whatever. Gig. Do that. Hako. Okay. Yeah, she just pulls out a massive Gatling gun and does a crap ton of damage. Honestly, that move is more for uh, moving places rather than doing actual damage. But I did like how it's called Sonic Roll, and it made like the coin sound. <sighs> okay, so that was all those. Yeah, I can end turn there. Oh. Kind of wish I had the forethought of grinding a bit more money and getting better armor. Uh. Um, just do that. And... Boink. Oh, it feels so nice to be able to just rip through the beginning of a game. Oh, that's always a good tune as well. <laughs> D director, did you get some good shots? Yes! 
They're absolutely wonderful! Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see tonight's broadcast. Ah! What you get for vandalizing my father's palace. You forgot the whole reason we're here, haven't you? You were supposed to guide me to Overlord Xenon? Mm. Oh. Don't owe me. Getting angry is bad for your health. We should be happy that we punished my father's enemies. <clears throat> Princess, they are not the ones who attacked the palace. You? What do you mean? Who did this then? Well, it was uh, someone I have never seen before, but, 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 but they were really, really strong. They were atrocious. They turned poor, innocent moi into an idiot's frog. They're strong, huh? It might be fun to fight people like that for a change. Hm. You're a barbarian. You are even more violent than a monster. Hey! Don't compare me to monsters. I'm fighting for my family. Perhaps for now. But was that the glitter of interest I spied in your eyes? You must not fight with them. You cannot win. That is for sure. We don't know that until we try. I speak the truth, for it was the demon lord who opposes Overlord Xenon. There is no mistaking this. I know it had to have been Demon Lord Etna. What? Demon Lord Etna? It's six o'clock, and time for the news. That picture is rather gruesome. We have received top secret information from our trusted sources today that confirms the existence of the legendary Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon currently lives in a quaint countryside world called Veldheim, where he quietly changes humans into monsters. And now, let's look back at the career of Overlord Xenon. My god. Great. Overlord Xenon has slaughtered over a thousand overlords and is respectfully referred to as the god of all overlords. No one has ever seen him and lived to tell about it, thus earning him the distinction of being a legendary overlord. 18 years ago, the bodies of 99 overlords were found dead. Xenon is believed to be responsible, but the truth is still unknown. But this new information may shed new light on the true face of Overlord Xenon. Stay tuned for more developments. Hmm. Up next, a special report on environmental damage. Reporting for us on the beauty of deforestation is God of Destruction, Alex. <laughs> How could this happen? My existence has been exposed. Soon, overlords from around the universe may join forces and come charging in. There is not a moment to lose. I must get this under control quickly. Okay. So Rosalind being free has essentially been Are we a confirmation. Her now? Whenever you refer to me, it's princess. Okay? But why? Why can't I call you Rosalind? Or Rosie? As some kind of demon, you should show me your proper respect and admiration for being the daughter of your overlord. But you haven't done anything for us to respect you for. I, uh... I don't mind calling you that. I kind of like saying it. Princess. Hey, stop trying to brainwash my little brother and sister with your propaganda. Okay, and I also want to say, just look at freaking Adele's tie. Like, that's massive. Foolish human. I am not brainwashing them. I am providing them with a rudimentary education for when they become my servants. Aha, mademoiselle. I hear that you possess great summoning skills, huh? I am highly impressed. 
Would you mind giving a handsome frog a lesson? Hmm? Perhaps back there where no one can see us? Huh? <laughs> oh my. You shouldn't go around teasing old ladies. <sighs> Do not say such things when I gaze into those three beautiful, innocent eyes of yours. You set my heart ablaze. Oh, <laughs> you've got guts. Seducing a wife in front of her husband. Drak Tink Mahalak! What was I doing? Ah, quit fooling around. Let's go. You better take me to Zenon today. You are much too impatient. Do you wish to die so soon? Well, there they go. I hope they come home safely. Watching your son go off to fight every day is just as painful as fighting. Well, I'm glad he's made some friends, though. Me too. No matter how strong he gets, he shouldn't fight alone. The battlefield is no place to be lonely. Why don't we fight with them? Adele isn't alone. Hanako is here for him. That's right. But the only thing we can do is believe in him and remain safely at home. Is that really all we can do? Hmm. Waiting here is boring. Episode 3, Rise of the Beauty Queen. And last episode, they announced, essentially, a Demon Lord Etna. Huh. Seems when they have more friends, that's so nice. They are friends and it's not nice. Why does it have to be like this? Uh, okay. Um... Let's... go. So, which way are we going today? Hmm, let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Don't you want to be back with your father? Then take this seriously. Monsieur Adele, do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Ah, I can't believe I'm being lectured by a talking frog. If you are determined to meet Overlord Xenon, I will take you to him. But only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? <laughs> I won't change my mind. I will defeat Xenon. Tink, can you handle this? I will be fine. You brought me along to help you end his life, yes? Yes, I need your cunning. Then leave it to Tink. I shall surpass your expectations. Okay, so I'm going to do one more summoning experiment. Uh, life of confinement. Um, according to my horoscope, the stars in the limelight are great things to come my way. Super lucky, but one of those great things would be an ultimate guest. That's what it's talking about. Don't think you should rely on horoscopes when summoning someone who might be a badass. Don't worry, it's safe. Today's lucky item is going in. Still relying on horoscopes. I uh, won't adding unnecessary items make it even harder to succeed. You're right, so what is today's lucky item? Plunger. What? Did you toss that in? Is it just me or does anyone else think it stinks in here? Yes, you are right, though it may be our simultaneous imaginations. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, where am I? And is Marona here? That aura, you're not a normal human. Hi, my name is Ash. I'm a phantom who has stayed in this world for, uh, stayed in this world for a reason. So, are you a ghost? It appears that he has a physical body. Phantoms like me can manifest our physical bodies by being confined to objects. Confined to objects, does that mean... Yes, as you may have guessed, I was in the plunger. What choice did I have? I'm not looking for some. I'm looking for someone important. That was the only thing I could find. So you became a plunger. That person must be really important to you. You're right. She's more important to me than my own life, even before I died. But anyway, I'm so determined that I don't care if I had to become a plunger. I have nothing to lose. You will give me information about the person I'm looking for. It's not like we have information on them. You have been no further. For her sake, I will not fail. Okay.
Actually, no. I feel like Sonic Roll might actually be weaker. Okay. Wow. Was not expecting one hit. Okay. Well. Tank, you're rather useless. So I'll just do this. Bang. Okay. Giant axe. No, I do not want to skip the story. Okay. Ash, you got fucked. Really good. Sorry, I misunderstood what you're doing here. Thought you were high in but now I know that can't be true. During the fight, I realized that you guys aren't the, the bad guys. Yeah, we're not. Uh, you should have noticed that before you fought. But there is one bad person here. Um, you're not talking about me, are you? I'm not a bad person. But anyway, until I find Marona, I'll travel around with you guys. Marona, I will find you someday, even if this plunger snaps. Oh, bad mental image. I doubt I recruited the plunger, I mean Ash, to join the group, pinching his nose the whole time. I can appreciate having more allies, but until you have thoroughly washed yourself, don't go close to me. Okay. Now, just to one heal, and to status, Ash Phantom, who lives with Morona, he thinks it's his duty to protect her. Double attack on last turn of match change. Um, infinite slice, finish your blade in an endless loop. Okay. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here, because we're at about the half hour mark, uh, even after I cut out the interruption. So I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next episode. Bye!